Yes, can you believe that Apple can even charge more for their MacBook Pros than they were already charging? Can you believe it? Woo! Okay, no, that's not woo worthy. So as usual guys, I want to know what you guys think. Is this a ripoff? Let me know down there in the comments. Can you justify it? You know, these prices were already high. They're going higher. Also, if you're interested in this MacBook Pro, you want to know how it performs with the new Vega graphics and you're just interested in Vega graphics for like a gaming sense, for like PC, how they're going to go in future PC laptops, make sure you subscribe. I will be slamming this video, editing, everything, be testing this graphics to the max. You know I do that and make sure you like if you like these videos. So anyway, these MacBook Pros have just dropped now, available for pre-order, four to six days it's saying shipping in Australia, we're saying the 22nd, what are we saying in the UK? We're saying the 27th, so it's later in the UK, okay, so it looks like the US will probably get it first, four to six days actually, 22nd, when's that? Uh, yeah, anyway, let's have a look at these prices. Oh God, they were already expensive, these Macs. And the thing is, they have a knock-on effect. When Apple increased their prices, everybody else does. And if you haven't noticed already, Apple have increased their price of everything. Everything's going up. It's going up by quite a lot too. You know, Apple aren't selling the amount of products they used to, or at least, you know, their sales are flat. They're not going to be reporting their units they're selling for like iPads and Macs and iPhones. So yeah, they're just going to report the big profit. So now if you order the Vega graphics, it's an extra 350 50 us on top of that so that's like 500 bucks australian whatever pounds probably 300 pounds they were already expensive man and yeah i just feel like i've ordered it so you will see reviews soon but i but i feel like you know i've copped a big one in the clack with no lube um, you know what makes me sad mostly about these prices is that you know good creative talent they can't afford a mac anymore it's like if you're a poor artist like Go be poor somewhere else, Apple thing. It is what it is. I'll just show you one thing in Australia here. They cost $6,419 for one terabyte. And the Vega graphics, the best Vega graphics was the Vega 20 and i9. And if you compare that to, say, an XPS 15, and I know Mac people won't want a XPS 15 or they won't want a Windows laptop, but here, for the same sort of configuration with a GTX 1050 Ti, which should be... Actually, it'll be very interesting to see which one's faster, and I'll be very interested. Same sort of specs there, i9, 32 gig, one terabyte SSD, and GTX 1050 Ti, 4,699. So it works out nearly $1,000 cheaper, and that's sort of how it works out. And just for note, I bought this exact unit for $4,000, and then when Apple released the MacBook Pro and the prices went up, well, Dell just increased their prices. So I don't know if that's just because of Apple or that's like because our dollar's going down. I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, these MacBook Pros are going to cost you 200, 350, sorry, US extra to get this graphics card. Let me know if you think that is worth it. You know, these are going to be shipping next week. So make sure you subscribe because I will be doing lots of reviews on this. It's going to be a big deal, okay? Vega graphics is a big deal. It's going to be much faster. And my thoughts are they should have shipped with this or like waited until these come out and shipped with this. I think these Vega graphics should replace the Radeon graphics. I don't think they should be an extra added cost on top. Apple will be screwing AMD. They're not going to be paying like loads extra for these Vega parts. They'll be screwing them down. I doubt they're paying that much more than what they're paying for these RX uh, 560s. So yeah, interesting to know what you guys think. Do you think it's worth another $350 over the already exorbitant prices of the MacBook Pro to get this? I know plenty of people that just, yeah, that's fine. It's whatever, the Apple costs whatever, and I do see both sides of it, actually. You know, you can say, hey, you got a chromosome missing for paying these prices, whatever, but if you're in this Mac ecosystem and you want a Mac and the Mac's the only thing that's going to do it for you, I mean, it is worth it to you. And it's just like saying, well, why would you pay so much more for a Mercedes when it's got four doors and a steering wheel and wheels just like that, you know, Chrysler over there. They're not the same thing, right? So anyway, I know that these do share the same specs, but there's other things that you have to factor in. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.